Hey YouTube, Ed here with Jack of All Trades and welcome to another video. So what we're going to do today is we are going to assemble, test, and review the Bean Machine. Uh, this machine is a rifle case annealing machine. It's for annealing your brass cases on your rifle brass. So with that, let's go ahead and let's get right into the video and let's talk about the Bean Machine. And welcome back. So yes, so what I've got here is I've got something called the Bean Machine. But before we talk about that, as always, I'm going to ask you to please hit that like and subscribe button down below. Make sure you ring that notification bell and hit me with those comments. I really like interacting with you guys in the comments section of the video. It's free, doesn't cost you anything, and that's the only way I will ever ask you to support the channel. I'm not going to ask you to go to a Patreon account and donate money or anything like that. I'm just asking for support with the likes and subscribes. Enough of that, let's talk about the bean machine. So this machine is, once you got it all put together, it's designed to anneal your rifle case brass. Now, some, some people may not understand what that is, so I'm just gonna very quickly go over what that is. Uh, take yourself back to high school physics and remember something called work hardening. That's something that ha happens to a metal when you bend it or flex it several times it will eventually harden up and break, i.e. take a metal coat hanger and break or bend it back and forth in a really tight area, bend it back and forth, back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth. Eventually it will fail and it will break. Everybody's done that some at some point in their lifetime. That is because the metal is work hardening. Every time you move it like that in a concentrated area, that spot where that metal is bending, will get harder and harder and harder with each movement and thusly it will get brittler and brittler and eventually it will fail. Brass is no different. Every time you fire and reload and fire and reload and fire and reload a rifle case brass, it will work harden over the course of time and eventually that brass will fail. Annealing is the process of taking that hardening out of the brass. It, it softens it up, it makes it more flexible, it makes it more ductile. And what that will do is several things, but primarily most people do it to save their rifle brass so they can get more reloads out of their brass. That's why I'm going to do it because I have a lot of obsolete brass and I got a lot of firearms that shoot obsolete ammunition. I have brass for them and I want to get as long a life as I possibly can. So I'm going to start annealing my case brass so I can get more life and longevity out of it. Other people say it improves your accuracy, it makes the reloads better, all that kind of stuff, and it's very valid. My primary purpose and what most people anneal their case brass for is to save the life of their brass. That all being said, what is the bean machine? The bean machine is a DIA kit. You actually buy it off of Etsy. Uh, the inventor's got an Etsy store, and I'm gonna put the link down in the description below. And he is printing the parts, the internal mechanisms, you need to make this machine. You buy his kit, you go to Amazon, you buy some electrical components like the, uh, the dial and the digital readout, the DC, uh, AC to DC converter, and the motor that it takes to run this thing. You buy those parts, his kit, some lumber, some hardware from the Big Orange store, and you can build this machine. And it will, it will make a machine that will anneal your brass. I've already put it together, obviously you can see that and it does work. So with that all being said, since I spoiled the end of the video and I told you the machine does work, what do you get with the machine? Well, when you buy his kit, you get a whole bunch of 3D printed parts and you get a, you can, if you so opt to, you can get a tool to find the center of the bowl so you know where to drill the hole and you'll get this alignment arm that goes into the bowl that keeps the brass aligned properly so that the torch can anneal the brass. That's what you get from him. You go to the big orange store, you can buy your lumber and you can buy all your hardware there. And I say the big orange store because you need to to buy that correct turnbuckle. He's got the turnbuckle in his instructions. You'll want to buy that very specific turnbuckle that he uses because the, the uh, parts that he 3D prints to hold the torch up are specifically made for that turnbuckle. Now that's not saying you couldn't 
make an adaption and come up with something on your own. But if you want to use his parts, you need to buy the right stuff. Let's talk about his instructions. They are extraordinarily thorough. I mean, extremely thorough on how to put this thing together. He's also produced a YouTube video. It's, it's quite long, but it's extremely comprehensive and very, very detailed on how to build this machine. If you're going to buy this, I would highly recommend you watch his video, watch how he puts it together, then order it. I would order everything from him. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go bending your own uh, alignment arm and stuff like that. The one he sends you works very, very well. Order it all from him. Save yourself the aggravation of having to come up with other stuff. It's well worth it. Follow his instructions to the letter and you can build the machine exactly like he did. Now, me, I'm a little bit adventurous. I made a few changes and alterations to make the machine more what I wanted and to use a lot of materials that I had lying around. I had some 1x4 material lying around. That's what I built my, my cabinet out of. Uh, everything I had here I had lying around with the exception of some hardware which I went to the store and purchased. Ordered the parts I needed on Amazon to include the torch, his kit, and I have the machine and it actually went together very very well. You can tell when you put it together he put a lot of thought and he put a lot of effort into making sure that this was a really good quality product and it does work and you can you can tell as you put it together that this doesn't seem like somebody something somebody made in their home. This seems like something you would order from a box store or something like that as a kit and put it together and it, it makes a really nice machine. So with that, this video is not going to be a step-by-step -step on how to put this machine together. I don't need to do that. Uh, the, the inventor did an extremely good job of making a video follow his instructions. I'm not going to recreate the will and tell you my way is better than his because you know what? It's not. The person that knows most about how to build this machine is obviously the one that came up with it. His instructions and his directions on how to put this together are really the best way to go. And anybody can do this as long as you are good at following instructions. And that's something that some people kind of lack a little bit is that they're not so good at following instructions. I'm here to tell you, follow his instructions to the letter, you're not going to have a problem. I went ahead and I watched his video. I ordered the parts. I read through his instructions when I was laying in bed at one night, went on to Amazon. I ordered all the stuff off of his list. When it all came, I just went ahead and put it together. I never referenced the instructions after that, but I'm extremely mechanically inclined. Uh, I've worked as an auto mechanic. I went to school to be an aircraft mechanic. I know electronics. I know how to read schematic diagrams. I've been doing this kind of stuff most of my life and it's fun for me to do that. And it's really not that difficult to put together. So I just kind of flew by the seat of my pants and put it together. But I'm here to tell you all the parts fit exactly like they are. I referenced his instructions very, very little when I started putting it together. Uh, just a couple of times I had to look to see where he was putting the washers to get the correct spacing and things like that. But I'm here to tell you the machine is actually quite simple to put together. All right, so now that the machine is all put together and I've run it, what do I think about it? I actually think it's pretty damn fun. It's really cool. It works exactly like it's supposed to do. It properly anneals my brass, and so far I'm really happy with the way it's operating. Uh, it was fun to make. It was fun to build. It's going to serve a very good purpose, and I'm extremely happy with it. And let me give you a couple of tips and a couple of pieces of advice, things that I found as I was going through. Don't be afraid to make some tweaks. Don't be afraid to make some adjustments. Don't make anything permanent until you've got this thing in your final assembly and you know it works. 
then there's nothing saying you can't take it back to part. If you want to glue your cabinet up, things of that effect, make things more permanent, you can certainly do that. The other thing I'm going to say is when you do first initially start it up, make sure you run the motor speed at 100%. Run it wide open and then back off it from there, depending on how hot your torch is, who made your brass, how thick the brass is, things like that. It's going to vary on where you need to set it. My cases that I was using it worked out that 70 was about where I needed to be to get a proper anneal. Yours may be different. Yours might not be. How close you put the torch tip to the brass. All that stuff is going to make a difference on where you set your speed. So start it wide open and work down from there. The other thing I would not do is I would not change the face angle that he's got on this box. Uh, that face angle is kind of critical because it, it promotes proper feeding of the brass and into the bowl and then the brass staying in the bowl as it's rotating instead of working its way out and falling on the ground before it gets fully annealed. So when you, when you put the cabinet together, you can see that the face of the cabinet where all these parts are that you're looking at is angled. That's there for a reason. Don't get the bright idea to straighten that up. Keep it angled back. Follow his instructions to the letter. You'll be fine. The machine is working exactly as it should be and I'm really happy with it. Now, I'll use it for the next few weeks and then if I have any failures or if I have any problems with it, I will make sure I do a video and let you know. Although I think if I have a failure, it will probably be from the components I bought on Amazon, i.e. the electrics or possibly the motor uh, may fail at some point in time. It is just inexpensive electrical equipment and it is prone to fail as we all know. Most of it's made in China, which means it's really prone to fail. But if I do have a failure in the machine, I, I assume that it will be in those things. The other thing that I did that may or may not have been necessary is I put a really light application of grease on, on the gears inside. I probably didn't have to, but I did. I just used some really light uh, fishing reel grease, grease that you put inside of a fishing reel. I turned the machine on and I applied a little bit of grease to the teeth of the gears and let it kind of work itself in just to give the gears just a little bit more lubrication so that they last longer and I don't have any wearing issues. All right, so let's go ahead and wrap this thing up. Now with all that being said, I would highly recommend if you want to build a, build a case annealer, this is a great way to do it. I would highly recommend his kit. He did a really nice job of putting it together and I'm happy with it. With that, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. This is Ed with Jack of All Trades. As always, thank you for stopping by. Thank you to my longtime watchers and my longtime viewers and my subscribers. I really do appreciate you and we will see you guys on the next video. Mm -hmm.